Uh, well, what happened to Jim at FAU is that, you know, obviously he was fired because he had a unpo uh, wildly unpopular uh, view. And, uh, and FAU, uh, to their credit, played the slow game uh, and um, didn't fire him, you know, in 2012 when the heat was really on. But uh, when they had a, um, I guess you can call it a solid opportunity, uh, they took it three, you know, two to three years later and, and, you know, got rid of him on a technicality. But, you know, the motivation is really clear. This is a person who is a problem for them. And, you know, they took advantage of a situation and, and got rid of him because of that problem, the problem being his exercise of his free speech. So um, that's what happened to Jim at FAU. You know, what happened after that and in trial, I mean, you know, his, his home was burglarized and his laptop was stolen. Um, his website was uh, the s target of, you know, attacks. He's the target of personal attacks in the media and the target of attacks from uh, folks who harass people who research and try to um, have another conversation about mass casualty events that isn't being had. And then eventually, you know, he became a plaintiff and sued FAU. And, um, you know, I think that um, part of the process in trial and, or in the federal litigation was above board. And then, um, you know, there were some decisions that were not. And, uh, you know, something I tell people about like Supreme Court justices, um, and you could say this about probably most federal judges, because if you look at um, Judge Rosenberg's resume, it's impressive. Um, you know, she is a, a gifted intellect, if you will. Um, is that, uh, they're, you know, judges are so smart, man. These people are just really smart people. Say what you want about them and their decision making or whatever, but they are smart people. And they are very talented authors. And, um, you know, lawyers are right. Lawyers are professional writers. So uh, uh, they can write anything to justify any position, okay? So, you know, you can take a position, it, you can make it sound above board, you can make it sound supported by the law, and it might not be. So I say that to touch upon, you know, the decision to dismiss some of James Tracy's counts that were directed at the policy itself and calling the policy unconstitutional in and of itself and that how could he fire somebody for violating a policy when the policy itself is unconstitutional and those counts did not survive and make it to try, you know, they were never ruled upon really on legal, on legal technicalities and, and, and those decisions were justified and supported by the law, but are they really? Um, so that's something that happened to Jim in trial was that he had very legitimate constitutional claims taken from him. They weren't even ruled upon on their merits. They were, they were, you know, uh, dismissed on legal technicalities or or misinterpretations of you know law. And then um, we had evidence taken away from us at trial, and so we weren't able to show.